How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk to you guys about confidence. But I'm a bit nervous. Are you listening? Damn. Confidence is a subject that comes up a lot in my day to day life. And sad as it is, it's always been my excuse for being single or an introvert. The word introvert was introduced by psychologist Carl John to describe a person whose motives and actions are directed inwards. Introverts tend to be preoccupied with their own thoughts and feelings and minimize their contact with other people. Thank you. You're welcome. And I know that for many, lacking confidence is a very big deal, and I feel you. It can be crippling. But if you take anything from this video, and let's be honest, you probably won't, is that you need to find out the root cause of this issue and push against it. Baby steps, ladies and gentlemen. Baby steps. My problem, as I've said before, is that I still see myself as the young me. I was, and still am, the youngest in my family, and I was always the short, skinny kid at school. Being the runt of the litter, naturally I was an easy target for jokes among the family and at school. As harmless as they were, still annoyed me, and I still bit back, which people love. They love the reaction. As a child, it's like you're all programmed to exist, and then when you get to the age where it's not normal to exist anymore, suddenly your lack of confidence shines through. When it comes to women, I'm different online than I am in person. I'm able to say things that I wouldn't be able to say face to face. I'm able to come up with quick, witty replies faster because I'm not put on the spot. And I occasionally, dare I say, have moments of relative charm online. But in person, I'm like a frickin... Gourd? A frickin' gourd. I mean, I'm over-exaggerating a lot. I can talk to girls, and in my defense, I'm a lot better than I used to be. It's just the charm element that seems to seems to disappear in person. And like, where do you look? Can, can someone tell me? I know cleavage is a no-no, and I, I'm pretty sure around the room is just rude. But isn't into their eyes a bit intimidating? I mean, it's a minefield. <laughs> Maybe just closing your eyes is the solution? But maybe then they'd mistake it for you going in for a kiss, which will either get you a punch in the face or a kiss. So maybe that's maybe that's the best option. Sorry, bit of a tangent. <laughs> How's this for professionalism? I just knocked the camera. So yeah, sorry about the angle change. For me, it's like this whole club vibe or anytime I'm with another guy, I always get this beta male vibe. I mean, I'm short, I'm not exactly muscular. And when it comes to my voice, I'm not exactly James L. Jones. James L. Jones, you know, Darth Vader, Luke, I am your father. I am your father. Yeah, that guy. Come on. So I always feel so threatened by other guys, and I either give up, don't bother, or end up spewing out subpar jokes, or resorting to the occasional cheeky nudge or longing stare in McDonald's at two in the morning as an attempt to woo her. Obviously not drawing from real life events, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm not trying to get sympathy. People get the hand they're dealt and there are far more places to meet girls than in a club. But I guess that beta male thing is the reason I love YouTube and social media so much. You're in control, they're listening to you and... My clothes came! Uh, I'm doing a live unboxing of my clothes. Um, this is my fashion haul 2016. Uh, we got a nice uh, raglan sleeve shirt here. Um, and a box of go ahead yogurt. Um, link will be in the description below. Use code naivety for percent five off. Oh. And uh, uh, what have we got here? Oh. Oh. They're my joggers. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've literally wanted joggers for so long. Tracksuit bottoms just don't cut it. Oh my god. I feel so <laughs> cozy. Oh, these are beautiful. Check these out. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. So that was my uh, summer fashion haul of uh, 2016. <laughs> Links to all the products in the description below. I don't know what that voice is. Right. 
But as I was saying, yeah, it, it, it's like a level playing field. It doesn't matter how tall you are, what your voice sounds like. It, it, it just, none of it matters when you're on social media. Just your personality is all that comes through and you don't have to worry about all that other stuff. Which I guess is why I like it so much. And I can just talk to you guys without any interrupt interruptions. Get it? <laughs> interruptions. But yes. I hope you guys enjoyed my philosophizing on confidence and providing no real insight or valuable information for you guys. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Life's not all sunshine and daisies, so buckle up, buddy. It's gonna suck. No, I'm joking. And I hope that some of you are comforted knowing that you're in the same boat as me, I'm in the same boat as you, and we're both gonna drown. <laughs> so yeah. But in all seriousness, a lot of people lack confidence, it's not a big deal, and I believe in you. So yeah, you get him, tiger. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember as always to leave your thoughts in the comments below, like the video if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Oh my god, that was insane. What the hell is this? I think I killed him. Feel the